In this video, we'll create some basic charts in Tableau and learn how to add more details to the chart. Tableau has a show me feature here that gives suggestions on the type of charts that we can use. We can also change the visualization by selecting the marks card over here. So let's go through some basic charts. First, we have the bar chart. This is typically used when it involves categorical data. And we can add more details by dragging it to the colors. So here, what we are seeing is a stacked bar chart that allow us to look at the part to whole distribution. So we are seeing the subcategories in each category. After adding the subcategory into the details, we are now seeing negative profits on the axis. And what happens now is that the end of the chart here will not be representative of the total. So here, what we can do is make use of the reference line. And now we have a line that allow us to see where the total should be. With the bar chart, we can also sort it to show the ranking order. So here we have sorted it from the highest profit to the lowest profit. Next, there is the line chart. This is typically used over time. So this shows a continuous visualization of a measure over time. We can also make a combination of charts when we want to look at more than one measure. So in this case, we are looking at profit and let's say we also want to look at sales. So what we can do to combine these two view is by using the function called dual axis. So here we may want to bring out the line in front of the bar chart so we can swap the position. So we have the line chart on top of the bar chart. And then there is the pie chart. which is used to show the distribution of the data. So here we can see the size of the profit in each category. We can also use tree map as an alternative way of showing the distribution of data. Here what we can do is to add more details by showing the value of the profit on the visualization. So what we can do is drag the profit into the label and now we have the profit value shown on the visualization. And lastly, we have the scatter plot. So scatter plot is used to show the relationship between two measures. So for example, we want to look at profit against sales. And let's bring product into the detail. So what we are seeing here is that we can look at the relationship of each product's sales against the profit. 